Okay guys, Rich here and this is my WL Toys A949 RC Rally Car Review and Unboxing because I'm going to do a little test run of this at the end of this video. What is there to like about this car which has caught my attention? Well, I recognise that not everybody has got like a huge budget out there and I've been after for quick, well probably the past couple of years to find like an absolutely cracking car out there that for around about 100 bucks or less we could get something quite exceptional in terms of value out on there. It's also referred to as the WL Toys Vortex, but for my purposes, we're going to call it WL Toys A949. I've had a 959 in before, very impressed with it. Um, I, did, I upgraded it to a 540 cam motor, but I've never gone brushless with one of these. Rally cars, very much in vogue on the RC scene at the minute, getting a lot of attention for people. So this cracking little one did catch my eye when I was looking through the Banggood site uh, the other day. I'll put a link to this one below the video because a bit of a bargain, 50 kilometers an hour speed on there. So what's the deal there, Richie? That's around about 31 miles an hour, guys. You're gonna pay the other side of a couple of hundred dollars for a Traxxas one that does that. Yeah, this is much smaller, but that's also gonna be in its favor. Four wheel drive, ready to run. But I've got something a bit special planned for this car moving forward, because this is gonna be a subject of a future giveaway. But for that giveaway, it's gonna have this brushless 4800 KV motor and yet 35 amp ESC fitted to it. In order to do that, I've got to remove the existing ESC and receiver because it's an all-in-one unit. So I fit that brushless motor and ESC. I'm going to need a new receiver. So I've picked this up from Banggood as well, which is a six-channel transmitter and receiver. Yours for under, drum roll please there, Richie, under 30 bucks. Six-channel transmitter and receiver for under 30 bucks. And on the back of the box, it quotes a distance of this thing of like four to 500 meter range. I will go out and test that because if that is right, it is absolutely staggering range on the thing. But we will see, we'll, we'll see how we get on with that one. So that's what I've got in mind for this car moving forwards. It's four wheel drive, ready to run, everything included in with it, including lithium and polymer battery on there. So without more ado, let me get on with my WL Toys A949 review and unboxing. Anyway guys, before I dive into unboxing the WL Toys A949, I would point out this transmitter, you can control all six channels from the handset. Anyway, link to it below the video, as I have a feeling more than a few people might be interested in this one. Full review on this coming very soon. Okay guys, you can get the A949 in red or blue. I went for the uh, red, as that's caught my eye a bit more on there. So what do we get for our money? So completely ready to run, four wheel drive. If this does, our instruction manual. Mini hex wrench included under there. Okay, so what have we got included in here? Very well packed, these. Our transmitter charger now I'm not sure if we're going to get a mains charger in at this price point or a USB charger mains power charger 12 volts in there battery lead out there okay our transmitter fairly lightweight feel to it but reasonable nonetheless for AA batteries which you will need to supply on there on off switch on here on here we've got throttle trim and steering trim buttons on there steering left right throw brake on there fold up and down aerial reasonably basic but it should do the job Let's get the car itself down, quick scan around the outside of the body. Okay guys, taking the body clips off so I could peel the protective film. But what do we think of the looks of the uh, A949 rally car? With that body film removed, it is looking quite smart and certainly very shiny. Anyway, as I've got the body clips off, let's take a look inside. Now, First thing that jumps out to me compared to a 959 is the tyres. These are far more road focused, uh, definitely got that real rally car feel to the uh, tyre tread on there. Not too bad, they're quite soft actually, so that should give a little bit of grip. They're not too shiny like some of these uh, cheaper cars can be. Anyway, let's have a look from the front on down. Nice firm impact bumper. Metal shocks, there's not any preloaded spaces included, but I guess if you've got some of the right size, you could fit those in there fairly easily. As I say, our front differential tucked away in there not any adjustables not any adjustable suspension at this price point guys obviously we've got our servo tucked away on the left there 
say combined ESC and receiver on the right hand side so that's going to need to come out and this is where I'm going to need to squeeze my new receiver and ESC in when I fit the brushless combo to it. Got a light bulb which I'm suspecting is going to be 2S on there. Now note the aluminum caps on the shocks both front and rear there guys and steel drive shafts both front and rear. So hopefully that should cope with that brushless power. Speaking of power well, check out that motor. Any idea what can size motor that is there guys because I'm not quite sure uh, it seems like quite a bit longer than your know, original than a 360 motor would be uh, but so where that's to give this car a bit more torque with it being a rally car uh, where you want the grunt low down in here rather than uh, uh, the high end power on that I'm not sure, quite sure but anybody know please do have your say in the back there we've got our rear diff tucked away in there are just all body pillars on here guys so it gives you a range of options with mounting different bodies on there okay quickly panning down the underside of the car and we've got a plastic chassis on there but uh, you can buy an uprated metal one for about 14 15 dollars from uh, banggood so uh, if you've got time in your hands i would suggest that is definitely a good upgrade on there for a bit of added strength in fact you can buy kits that get that get you everything on this car i mean every last little part you can buy a kit of bits to, that will give you aluminum parts on the whole car so although you may not know it guys these cars do have quite a cult following out there on youtube with uh, the a959 and 949 getting some seriously big views out there Anyway guys, I would say I want to do a suspension test on this thing, but that's kind of not this car is not gonna have huge clearance on there. You've maybe oh you maybe got a centimetre of movement in there, but it's not worth doing my normal suspension test on there. But this is very much a road focus car or struck hard pack gravel car. Speaking of which, let me get a battery and charge, let's get this thing outside. And eager eyed amongst you over in the USA. Well I've already spotted this isn't a USA charger, so I'm gonna have to go and get uh, a little adapter lead or something on there but uh, the battery plugs into charge actually via the balance lead and that's the power lead on there but i'm not going to let that battery charger issue stop my fun guys because in richie's big box of uh, battery adapter leads i found this dean's adapter which is going to enable me to link that battery up get it on fast charge and i've got the battery charging up on me venom pro quad charger so that should be done in no time at all it's a 2s lipo 1100 milliamp hour so i will also pay attention guys and let you know just how long the run time is on this car all charged up didn't take very long at all on that fast charger and got caught a bit of zip to it from the outside and i think this thing is going to corner he thinks oh he says lucky it's on rails hey, considering it's brushed it's got quite a bit of hope to it Good brakes, very good brakes. You can get that in a go pretty corner virtually flat out without any problems. At the minute, yours truly is trying to test it for runtime. So pretty good. Steering is very, very direct indeed. It's very quick for steering. The response time on the servo is uh, quite exceptional, I have to say. Every little input the car responds very, very quickly indeed. It is like I can only put it akin to anybody that's got like a scale electric or a racing car set like that. It handles just like a mini slot car. Sticks is sticking to the road like blue. You can provoke the back end out on a car, but not overly easily. It's only on wanting to do a lift off overs there, but uh, it will corner pretty well. Very, very what I'd call shockable, I would say, guys. Short wheelbase, but uh, it's not running unnecessarily flick the back out too easily. But you can provoke it if you want to. You're not totally taking about 30 miles an hour as yet there guys. I'm thinking maybe maybe mid-20s, but we will see. But it's like a like under like a, a mini slot car if you like that. I mean, it's pretty good actually. And st that steering is really, really good. Really good. Like on short turns under full throttle. The thing just, just rock it out of the corners. There is definitely got that rally car kind of steering like the uh, my big Traxxas car has actually in terms of our faster responses I wasn't convinced it was maybe going to hit that 30 miles an hour to start with there boys but as it's running in it's getting quicker and that front bumper is definitely quite good but as I'm going to do this as a giveaway car at some point guys when I modified it I don't want to bash it too hard it's creeping around good control at low throttle as well it's not uh, showing any signs of any hesitation on there Guys, but mine is that acceleration is fairly brisk. That top speed remains to be seen. I'm thinking we might be into, I'm thinking maybe low 20s, mid 20s on there. 
but on a good straight run, we shall see. Steering is very, very direct, very good indeed. It's very much like a Texas rally in terms of uh, being able to get on off and on the throttle and corner. Very hard on it. It's pretty brisk, actually. Brakes, brakes, hang on. Brakes very, very well indeed. Anyone getting on in this is like a first time semi quick RC car. Just bear in mind, guys, this does 30 miles an hour. Just as quick as your 200 bucks tracks, this one is. Well, guys, all good things must come to an end. And after a fairly solid 12 minutes of running there, as flat out as I can uh, in this given space, uh, the A949 battery has cut out. But you have to bear in mind, it is only uh, 1100 milliamps on there. So that is not too bad at all. Uh, given that yours truly has been pretty much on and off full throttle uh, on there, which is going to drain the battery uh, quite quick. I'm sure you could get up to 15 minutes if you're driving it uh, nice and gently, and maybe in a bigger open area where you're not so hard on and off the throttle as I've been today. Anyway, guys, I will be sticking the GPS on this car later this week, then we're going to be moving on to that uh, brushless A949 conversion. So if you don't want to miss that GPS test, or me testing it on gravel later on this week, then don't forget to subscribe. As ever, guys, all comments or questions on this car, most welcome. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video, and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.